We are at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre with one of my first tourists. Hooray! <laughs> um, but it's a special occasion, mainly because we are looking at the Armenian chapel. This is Gregory, and um, we will talk about him later on. But look at the colors of the pictures. One of the status quo rules say no national flags. Then you cannot see here a national flag of France and, and, and Spain. And then they trick them to talk about Armenian. They painted their paintings and their chapels with the national flag colors. Because they didn't say, no, don't do that. They say, no, national flags here. Smart, isn't it? Yeah. Then let's walk down to the lowest place in the church, owned by the Armenians and a little bit by the Catholic as well. One wall is from the 11th century, the other one is from 12th century. You can see a lot of graffiti, some of them from the Crusade time, on the wall. Mm -hmm. Now, white's brownish, white's brown, and that's white, because people are touching it. Can you smell it? Mm -hmm. uh, the incense, you cannot smell it. But uh, an hour ago, there was a ceremony here by the Ceramic Church, by the Armenian, and by the Greek Orthodox with incense. They are doing it twice a day. This is a beautiful mosaic. It's not old at all. It's from the 20th century, after 1915. And you can see here nine cities that have been destroyed by the Ottomans, together with 1.5 million Armenians that were killed. Ararat, I saw it when I visited Armenia, but I saw it from the um, from the Armenian side, Ararat today, it's not part of Armenia, it belongs to the uh, Turkey. And remember the dome that we saw? Mm -hmm. And I told you to remember it? Here it is. The Ethiopians are there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now because they are walking, ascending down to the next day, they go, let's stay here for a minute. Uh, mainly because uh, it's too, too crowded there. <laughs> yeah, but this is this, this is, is this is different. This is, they are cleaning it for Easter. But the most important story is here, because we always ask ourselves why the Armenians are here. There are so many chapels that belong to Armenia, and it's not the biggest country ever. This is the story. It looks like John the Baptist. We, True, isn't it? And Jesus is in the, in the river, but it's not. Gregory, which looks like a bishop now, was in prison. And remember, this is the hall that I was visiting. From here, from there, I saw Ararat. Um, he was in prison because he said that he is a Christian. And that time it, wasn't, it was against the law. Then in that case, the king that looks like Jesus in the water now became ill. His daughter told him that Gregory has got healing uh, power and he used it and he cured the king and then the king decided to convert all the kingdom into Christianity. You can see the king's Close there in the, in the water? Right. Yeah. Then he did it 30 years before Constantine star, uh, uh, did it to the rest of the Roman Emperor. Then the Armenian came to here earlier than anyone that we know. And we already know that word, Khachkar. Remember a memorial thing? And, 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 and the, the, 
Armenian cross. As you already know, it's one of, one of my favorite. I think it's the nicest one. It looks like it's a flower. Trinity, 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 look how beautiful it is. And this is the time to say hi to Robbie. Robbie, remember we Robbie from Australia? Uh, she, she became a friend, she's part of it. <laughs> At the sixth century, the true cross was taken by the Persian. And they brought it back. By whom? By um, um, Caesar from Armenia. And the Armenians are very proud of it, Heraclius. And now the important thing before we will send it down to the lowest place in that church. And if it's the lowest place, it's actually the most ancient place in the church. Is there. It's so rare to enter. But if we will enter through that door, we will, you will find the remains of uh, the Romans. Um, temple. But you will find a beautiful graffiti of a boat and someone wrote, we came to visit you, our Lord. It can be the first evidence for Christianity in their church. And that belongs to the Armenians. And sadly, I don't know why they're not opening. It's called the Vertan. It's called Vertan uh, Chapel. Vertan is a, a very a, Superhero in Armenia, and if the ah uh, is cleaning it, or oh, because soon they are gonna have a ceremony, um, Catholic ceremony, and maybe then we will we will meet um, Jacob. Wouldn't this be a good time to remind people to subscribe and hit the <laughs> notification button? Ah uh, uh, yes, 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 yes. You're right. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. You are my family for, from right now. They were, I mean, they are my family. It started just like you by subscribing my channel. Then, uh, well, that is a Catholic area. How do you know, how do we know that this is a Catholic area? Okay. See, oh, thank you. The ceremony will begin soon. You can see now, the, uh, you can see that this is Armenian. See, even there, um, that date, I think it's September 14, 60, uh, 29, 80. But that painting right there is Catholic. To tell you, until now it was Armenian, and from now it's Catholic. We already talked about the church as a quarry. Then that is the quarry. And I don't want to disturb that uh, tour guide. Soon he will climb up and we will replace him. But um, if that was a quarry, and the King Herod used it for the temple. And when he died, people started to use it for different things. Here, they use it for a water system. You will see the plaster and you will see the... Um, you will see the bucket holes. And um, why it's so important here? Because at, wow, look how good it is. Look how beautiful it is. And it looks like he's cleaning it. Maybe it's not a ceremony. Yeah, different lights, you have to change it. Then down there, St. Ellen found three crosses. Remember that Jesus was crucified with another two. Right. Then, she touched, I mean, she took a sick woman. The first cross touched her, nothing happened. Second one, nothing happened. And I'm sure that you know what's happened when she touched the third one. He was, actually, he was cured. Uh, then in that case, I mean, she was cured. Then in that case, they found the original, the true cross. Uh, do you want to send them? Do you want to go down to see it? Yes. Yeah, energy, energy, energy. Then you know the story. Just next to the altar, you will see a, um, a fresco of uh, the crucifixion from 12th century. You see the bucket soles?
then. You can see that it was a quarry. You can see that they used to cut the stones here. And they, and they used to do it here because that is one of the best white limestones. Strong and good. Then this is the one, but the altar of the finding of the true cross was right in front of you and St. Ellen is here and you can see that they are preparing themselves for a mass. Fresco, an ancient painting of Jesus crucifixion right here. John next to him and Mary to the left of it. And now we can climb up slowly, slowly. It's so beautiful to see it with so many lights. There's so many ceremonies in that church, especially in Easter time. And we can say goodbye to them? Yes. Uh, goodbye. Yeah. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>